Lon is a vigorous girl from another dimension, Domain 9. She loves traveling around and eating delicious food. However, once in combat, she turns into a cold-hearted killer who wields an umbrella-type weapon, Vermilion Bird. Let all enemies crumble under the heat of the cardinal fire, Lord Chuche. Is it time to get serious? The demonstration of Lon's basic skills. Lon can deal with up to five normal attacks on the ground or when airborne. Note, after hitting the target with any weapon's normal attack or dodge attack, one tiny umbrella named Parasol will be generated in the nearby area. Up to three Parasols can exist at the same time. Parasol contains diverse mechanisms. Let's talk about it in Chapter 2. While on the ground, tap and hold a normal attack during the second to the fifth normal attack to dash forward and strongly suspend the target. While airborne, tap and hold a normal attack to consume endurance to remain airborne by spinning Vermilion Bird, dealing damage over time to surrounding enemies while making all parasols on the field spin rapidly. Release the normal attack button to make Lawn fall, dealing damage and knocking the target down. When Lon is in a non-combat state, she can use her weapon to explore the terrain. While on the ground, tap and hold a normal attack to select a location to spawn a parasol. Then use the skill to quickly move to the parasol's location. The parasol lasts 15 seconds. Other than that, Lon will pull out her umbrella to glide after performing a double jump. Elegant, absolutely elegant. Lon's skill and passive introduction. While using the weapon skill, Lon will fly toward the parasols in the same order that they spawn, triggering area damage multiple times before returning to the original position. If Lon passes through three parasols and returns to the original position, she then gains a shield, Vermilion Domain, for eight seconds, which grants her hyper body and high damage reduction. While diving, Vermilion Domain has a damaging effect and increases Wanderer's speed. Once Fortitude Resonance is active, Vermilion Domain expands into an even larger area, granting damage reduction to nearby teammates. Lon can also extend the duration of the Vermilion Domain by tapping and holding normal attacks while airborne. Next, let us focus on the tiny umbrella, Parasol. First and foremost, we need to explain these two nouns. Polyfeather parasol. It's an adjective for a multiplier. Its value is equal to the number of parasols on the field plus one. In combat, there are three parasols max, existing on the field most of the time. So in other words, polyfeather parasol usually represents a 400% multiplier. Feather. It's the energy required to be consumed in order to spin the parasol. The cap is 30, and you gain one feather every second automatically. You also gain one feather with a 0.5 second cooldown each time you deal damage. We can now get into the parasol's mechanisms after learning the definition of these two nouns. Mechanism 1. Fiery Crash. Enhance the area damage from the parasols passed through by Lon when using the weapon skill. The higher the polyfeather parasol, the more the extra damage dealt. Mechanism 2. Corrosion. Parasol's nearby targets take high flame damage and charged attack damage. Mechanism 3. Radiant Flames. Parasol's nearby targets take burn damage over time. Mechanism 4. Flame Vortex. Parasols on the field consume one feather every second to deal area damage. Note, the feather to be consumed will always be one regardless of the number of parasols that exist on the field, and it also fixed its damage at one time per second. Mechanism 5. Rapid Spin. While airborne, tapping and holding normal attack and using weapon skills will trigger the parasols to spin rapidly. While spinning, the feather cost of Flame Vortex and the damage, charge, and shatter effects from Flame Vortex are multiplied by Polyfeather Parasol. Lastly, this is Lon's Discharge Skill. Besides dealing great extra damage to the target, Lon receives a Flame Damage Boost for 20 seconds after her Discharge Skill hits the target. It's an excellent support type skill for the damage boost. 
Lon's key star introduction. When Lon advances to one star, new passive effects, Vermilion Strength and Glowing Fire will be unlocked. The effect of the former one is to multiply the ammo cost of other weapons by Polyfeather Parasol. Correspondingly, their damage, charge, and shatter effects are also multiplied by Polyfeather Parasol, which greatly increases the burst power for a short period of time. The effect of Glowing Fire is that when targets near a Parasol take burn damage or damage from Fiery Crash, an extra amount of damage will be transferred to the three nearby units with the highest HP percentage, which greatly increases the area damage effect. When Lon upgrades to 3-star, the first damage he takes during the battle, there will be three parasols spawned near the target immediately. This reduces the activation time of stacking parasols. Meanwhile, when Lon uses any weapon discharge skill or shatters, parasols will trigger an additional 30% effect of Fiery Crash and reduce the ATK of enemies near the parasol. Lastly, let us take a look at Lon's team combination and combat analysis. The recommendation of team combination here isn't the only answer. How to maximize Lon's effects is the ultimate goal. Try to think out of the box. Lon's mechanism mostly focus on the support type flame damage boost. For this, we select Clover Cross's dodge attack to trigger the fully charged cross snipe as a major burst of damage output. Before going into the burst, the pure flame team requires Ruby to accrue 8 stacks of heat using her normal attacks, and the Lin's flame team needs to activate Moonlight Realm. Having all these ready, the team should use the damage boost from Kuan's shield after it's shattered, as well as from Lon's discharge skill, to complete the process of boosting damage. Please note that Lon's 1-star trait will trade ammo costs for extra burst, so go easy on the dodge attacks of Clover Cross. 2-3 to three times is good enough already. On top of that, when Clover Cross equips 4 Annabella Matrices, you may consider using Clover Cross's dodge attack after releasing Lon's skill, taking advantage of the 4 Annabella Matrices to increase the spinning parasol's main slot damage boost effect. Above is all the content of Lon Showcase. We hope you all like Lon!